We love seltzer water, but we drink so much of it, we decided we needed to make our own because this costs about 50 cents. And this costs less than two. What's up, family? I'm Rachel. And I'm Joe. And we are Two, two Crazy, Crazy Ketos. Ketos. And if you're new to our channel, welcome. Here on Two Crazy Ketos, we do different things like recipe videos and we do product reviews. We talk about various keto topics and then every Monday, we go live on Keto on the Couch where we just kind of talk about what's going on in our lives for the week. You can find us in different social media platforms like Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And we have a website which is twocrazyketos.com and that's where you're going to find all of our different recipes. Now we do upload at least five new videos every single week. So make sure you subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to hit the little bell icon and that way every single time we drink something delicious, you'll be alerted to it. So uh, like we said, we love seltzer water. We love sparkling water, bubbly, you name it, we like it. We like all the different brands from the bubbly brand to the LaCroix, honestly, whatever's on sale. Let's Waterloo. face it. Waterloo. Whatever's on sale. Now Rachel, She's on another level. She wants the fancy water. Yes, I really do like things like San Pellegrino, which is basically carbonated mineral water. But as we were like uh, swiping the card at the store for the millionth time, I thought to myself, if we could have our own carbonated water that we made, we could just add Dr. Berry mineral drops to it and make our own. Yeah, and here's the thing. Like I said, this stuff's gotten expensive. I mean, we used to be able to get like even things like this for like on sale, $2 for a 12 pack. And it's up to $5 for eight cans. So it's gotten expensive. The San Pellegrino's gotten expensive. And uh, so yeah, we like to use these Dr. Berry, uh, we call them the Dr. Berry. They're really the Keto Chow Daily Minerals. Dr. Yeah. Berry helped develop them. They're all the minerals that we need. And uh, there's a link for them down below. Uh, that link will get you 10% off of everything you purchase at Keto Chow. But what we do is we make our own seltzer water and we add it, and we add the deadly minerals to the seltzer water. And you're probably wondering, how do we make our own? And that's simple. We use a soda stream. Yeah. The only thing is, is I kind of got into a little bit of trouble when I brought home the soda stream because we had one years ago. And what we found was it wasn't cheaper to use a soda stream than it was to go to the store and buy seltzer water or soda. Right. Because these things, which are the refills for this thing, are 15 to 20 bucks. Yes. And they tell you you're gonna get 60 bottles out of it. I never, ever, ever got 60 bottles out of it. No, nope. and um, we definitely were not huge fans of like the soda ones, like the Diet Coke type thing that they have. Didn't Some taste, of them good. It didn't taste like Diet Coke to me. So I really am truly just gonna use this to make carbonated water. So that means that we had to find a way to get this in a cheaper form in order to utilize yeah, it. Yeah, and we tried a lot of different things, including when the boys were little, I was going and buying dry ice, cracking it open and dropping things of dry ice in there because the dry ice becomes carbon dioxide so that you can use your soda stream. We've got a different way and we're gonna show you how to do that. Thank goodness. And it is really, really, really easy to do. How easy is it? Well, this one is so easy that even Rachel can do it. Wow. It is that easy. I'm serious, it is that easy. Here's what you need. You need a soda stream, okay. but you need a certain kind of soda stream. All right. You need a soda stream that is gonna use one of these blue refill bottles. The new ones on the market use a pink refill. You can't use those. So you're actually gonna do better looking maybe- The old ones. At a thrift store or a garage sale or even like your local offer up in right. order to find one of these because this is the old school. You can still get some of the old models on Amazon, at Bed Bath & Beyond, at Target and Walmart. And there's a couple of different options. This one I purchased at Walmart today. This one was $49 at Walmart, which is pretty cheap. And uh, so this is a manual version. It's called the SodaStream Fountain. There's also, you can get the Jet and the original Fizzy. You can find them on Amazon. I will leave links for them down below. And I bought this one. This is a manual one. It's a really old kind of model. I bought this for the RV and in case we also have a hurricane because it doesn't require electric. Right. The main one we use 
is this okay. one here, and this one's already modified, so I'm, I've got a tube here. Uh, but this is the Fizzy One Touch. There's a couple of differences which we'll show you, but this one has to be plugged in to use it. But then you press one button and it does everything, whereas this one you're gonna manually do everything. So you can use either one, any soda stream that uses the blue refill. So that's number one, that's the first thing you need. The second thing you need is an adapter hose. And again, I'm gonna leave a link for this down below on Amazon, that is extra washers. Uh, so there's a couple of different ones. You can get one just like this, or you can get one that has a gauge on it. The only thing that's nice about the gauge is that if you turn it off, you can bleed the line and get any air out without having to do your machine. Now, if you've got this machine, not a big deal. But if you do have the electric machine, it's nice to have the bleeding valve. But that bleeding valve does cost you about $10 more. So you need that. And then the third thing you need is either a two and a half pound or a five pound CO2 canister. This is a five pound one. Don't go bigger than five pounds because you could affect the pressure on the soda stream machine. So two and a half or five. I'm gonna tell you to go five so long as you have the room for it because this does have to rest on your counter unless you're like our buddy Chris who drilled a hole in his counter and put it above it. And now you don't see it, which is really awesome. Now, how in the world am I gonna locate one of these things? So you can buy these empty on Amazon or you can go to a local beer and wine store, any place that has like kegs of beer and they will usually sell them. Uh, you're gonna, you wanna buy a new one, okay? Some of them, if you can get a used one in a beer and wine store, that's good. Some people use old like paintball canisters, which will work. Do you really want that? Like, yeah. has it ever been cleaned out? Right. You don't know. Uh, I think you're better off buying a brand new one. This was a brand new one when I got it. Now, it is a little, this is a little bit of an investment. Okay. Okay. So the canister is going to cost you between 80 to 100 bucks. The hose is going to cost you, depending on which one you get, between 25 and $40. Okay. And then you have your machine if you don't have one. Okay. But to fill this is about, depending on where you go, 12 to $20. But this is the equivalent of five of these. So it's gonna last so a lot longer. 15 to 20 bucks for this, or 20 bucks for this after you buy it. And how many are they saying that this will this make? This will give you 60. Okay, so 60 liters. They say that. I'm gonna tell you it's closer to 45. Okay, so 45, but this is how much bigger? This is about five times the size of this So canister. 45 times five, that's right. how many liters yeah. that you're gonna be able to make yourself using this. Now we've been doing this I don't even remember since when. Like, I want to say like February, maybe even January, maybe even earlier. I don't remember. Yeah. We've only gone through two of these and we drink a lot of seltzer water. When I say a lot, like we go through about 15 of these a day. That's how much seltzer water we're drinking in the house between everybody. Yeah. Okay, so those are the only three things you need. Now, like I said, you can you, if you get it on Amazon, it's going to come empty. Then you have to take it to a local beer and wine or keg store and they're going to fill it up. You can, again, take it to like Dick's Sporting Goods or any place that refills paintball canisters. Personally, I would look for some place that fills up kegs because again, their air, you're gonna know that they're maintaining the canisters that they use for filling, that everything's being cleaned. It's, it's, it's the same CO2 as in a paintball gun, but you know that they're checking this because like food grade. Yeah, right? I was gonna say, that's, so, the, that's the thing you're keeping in mind, food grade. But again, you don't have to. Are you ready? So ready. This is super easy. Okay. Okay, here's what you're gonna do. Now, we have a camera above us, so we're gonna try to Sc show this. My boyfriend, Scam Likely, is calling me, sorry. Okay, so all you have to do is take off this back cover, which is these two buttons right here. Okay. So you're gonna take, press, and then pull it off and lift it out. Oh, nice, okay. okay? Now you can kind of put that off to the side for a minute. Now I do get a canister that comes with it. If you buy usually. a brand new one, it comes from a canister, okay. with a canister. So what I do is I actually put this on. This is from the black one, but just as a demonstration, if you already have one with a canister. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna unscrew this and I just save it for an emergency. Let's say I run out of my big machine. Uh, I don't have to worry about it. I have a backup until I can get up to the keg store. Okay. So we're just gonna take that off and lift it up, put it off to the side. Okay, now this hose, has two sections. One is gonna go onto our CO2 canister, and then the other one goes up in here where that was, but it's got a little disconnect. So oh. you can see here, we're gonna disconnect it just like that. Oh, okay. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna lay this down on its front, 
just like this. And you, what you want to do is take this piece here and screw it right into there. Okay. I'm a lefty, so usually I turn it the wrong way first. Shout out to all my lefties out there. Then what we're going to do is we're going to take a, a wrench and we're going to tighten it. This is a one inch wrench. And so the best thing to do is this way. Okay. And just, you want to, don't over tighten it, but you want to make sure it's nice and tight. Okay, you're trying to make sure you get a good seal so you don't have, that's good, don't crack the plastic. Yeah. Okay? Now, what you all, you really have to do now is take this okay. and you're gonna pull back and push it up on the thing. Oh, I see that there's like, it, it exposes it. Your soda stream is now modified. Wow, that okay. was easy. So now, there's a couple things you can do. You can either leave your machine like this, which Rachel would never allow me to do. But if you don't care, I mean. Or we can make it look pretty. Okay, So I we're like gonna pretty. make it look pretty. So we're gonna put this off to the side. What you're gonna do is you're gonna take your back cover and somewhere, anywhere you want, you can do it on the bottom, up here, whatever. You're going to take a drill. Oh! And I will do this part for you. Oh, okay, thank you. And we're gonna drill a hole so that this can go through. Okay. All right, so should I so hold it? So we're just it? gonna put it right here. Okay. Put it right in the middle. Probably shouldn't be doing this on my granite countertop. Probably not. So now what we do is we take the hose and we go through that hole. Oh. Now you can put it back on here. Pull the hose through and then put your cover on. Right here. Ah! And now you've got pretty. Okay. So now what we're gonna do is you're gonna connect this to your CO2. Okay, so all you have to do now, one thing to show you, there is a white washer. Okay. Okay, it comes with an extra. So you got a white washer, there's also a little tiny O-ring. The O-ring goes inside of that adapter. Okay, but it's there, so you've got a spare. So you want to make sure that your white washer is in here. Okay. Okay, that's going to get your seal, and you're going to go ahead and put that on. Righty tidy, lefty loosey. I know. Like I said, I'm a lefty, so I always like turn things the wrong way first. Okay. Okay. Now we're going to tighten that down, and this is a one and an eighth wrench. Now you can use any kind of vice grips or anything, but I have all the right ones, and we're going to go ahead and tighten that. Okay, you are done. Look at me. So now all we have to do, okay? Okay. Is open this up and you do not have to open it up all the way. All right. Okay, so we just turn it open a little bit. Now your machine is charged. Now this is the old style. So we have a couple of bottles. Now they'll all take all the different bottles. Okay, so this is the newer style bottle. This is the older style bottle. I actually like the older style bottles I do better. Too. Um, they don't tilt over as much. Also, they're a lot cheaper on Amazon because we have like 20 of them because we, are we always want to have them filled. What we do is we get them, fill them up, charge them, put them in our refrigerator and just keep them cold. But these fit into car cup holders. These don't. Right. So that's just something to think about. Okay, so this is the old machine. The old machine you actually have to screw it onto the piece. That's one of the downsides of the older machines, but the older machines are much cheaper. So now you've got it like that. And like I said, this is a manual. So what you're gonna do is press the button like three times until it sounds different. So press it all the way down, all the way in. You can probably keep going. There you go. Oh, See there, that noise? That that noise is like there was excess air. Yeah. So that is like a low seltzer and then you can give it a little bit more if you want it even fizzier. Right, which I like it super fizzy. And then after that, you just lift it up like this. Unscrew it. Unscrew it. And then we just get the Dr. Berry drops. Right. And so I we just... have, these are our Dr. Berry minerals. We have these little squirt bottles and we do not measure this. We just- Just have a nice squirt Give in it there. a squirt. And now it's ready. And now that goes into the refrigerator. So that is the fountain one. Now, if you're curious what the difference between that and the electric one is, this is the electric one. This is what we use in our house every day. Right. Why do we use this one? It's easier. So first of all, to charge this one, you don't have to screw it in. You just push up all the way 
and lock it in place. It's in there. Now, to charge it, you just press the button. And there's three buttons on top. There is the uh, light fizz, medium fizz, and heavy fizz. So we always do the light, but Rachel always does the medium. So you press it and it does everything for you. I just like a little extra fizz. How fizzy do you like your drinks? And all this is, is Berkey water. So now that it's done, we simply take it off. Give me my Dr. Berry drops. We put some Dr. Berry drops in there. Boop. It's way easier to take them this way than it is to just like straight shoot it. Then we put the top on and now we store this in the refrigerator. Yeah. And that's it. So again, you can do either machine. You can do the manual machine. You can do the electric machine. They're both the same. They're the same attachment. So long as you get a machine that uses the blue canister. This will not work on the ones that use the pink canister. You have to find an older machine. Gotta look like this. So, so that's how we modified our soda stream to make our own San Pellegrino. And how I didn't get into a lot of trouble for buying a soda stream. Cause he saved us money. Now let us know down in the comment section if this little hack helped you out. And also let us know down in the comment section if you do it. If you have any questions, go ahead and leave it in the comment section but it's pretty easy to do. I mean, obviously Rachel just did it for you and I'm in not just a couple of minutes. Yeah. Now, if you like seeing videos like this, take a look at some of the videos that we have linked right over here. Also, make sure you take a look at the most recent video that I'm gonna put right over there. But whether you head this way or you head this way, don't forget to head this way. Subscribe to our channel and click the little bell icon and that way every single time we make a delicious beverage, you'll be alerted to it. Till next time, bye.